Welcome to the Kalana's Reading Corner. My name is Clark with the Boiling Spring Lakes Fire Department. We'll be reading Odin, Dog Hero of the Fires, written by Emma Bland Smith, illustrated by Carrie Salazar. Darkness sets in. I take over from my sister. Wolf, your turn to sleep, Tessa. I'm on guard duty now. Good boy, Odin. Roland pats me and heads into the house. Ariel says goodnight to the goats and to me too. See you tomorrow, Odin. She kisses me right on my nose. I lick her face and she laughs. The goats drift off to sleep and I lie next to them. My nose and ears alert. I am a working dog. I must protect my goats. It is a hot, dry night and windy. So windy. I get to my feet. The swing under the tree jerks wildly. Something is not right. A light goes on in the farmhouse window. I smell smoke. The fur on my back stands up straight. I check on the goats, all eight of them. Peaches snuffles in her sleep. Jojo opens one eye. They are safe, for now. I hear a thump on the roof. What is Roland doing up there? He points down toward the valley and my heart drops. The sky is glowing orange. Fire. Roland yells, Ariel, get the animals. Ariel runs towards the truck, carrying the cat and leading Tessa. Odin, come, Roland shouts. He tries to drag me, to push me, but I plant myself firmly. I swallow and back away, trembling. No, I won't go. I am a working dog. I won't leave my goats. Roland drops his head for a moment, then climbs into the truck. Tears glisten on Ariel's face. Tessa jumps in and barks to me that she will keep our people safe. I watch as the truck lights disappear into the darkness. I have never spent a night away from Tessa. Roland and Ariel are my family too. I whine softly. Crash! The noise makes me jump. The barn roof collapses. Boom! A propane tank explodes near the house. The air shimmers with heat. It is overwhelming. I pant, trying to cool down. The goats are awake now, their eyes wide with alarm. Jack Sparrow pushes close to me. Tinkerbell nuzzles my neck. They clump tightly behind me, scared, waiting for my direction. The flames are moving fast, coming for us. Where can I take the goats? How can I keep them safe? Glowing ember skitter across the field. I yelp as they burn my whiskers. Roland left the gate open. I sprint through it. Bad idea. The yard is in flames. The enormous maple tree crackles and roars. Fingers of flame streak out of the farmhouse windows. I run back through the gate and turn in a circle. All around, everywhere, the sky is red. Something catches my eye. The rocks. On top of the hill, they tower above the ground. Safe from fire, at least for now. That's where we have to go. A bark orders, come on, Daryl. Faster, Aurora. Stay close, Amunra. We dart through smoldering ashes. I step on red hot cinders and pain sears my foot. Limping, I carry on. The goats scamper easily over the hot ground, their feet protected by hooves. Whoosh! A burning branch blows in front of us. The goats scatter. Dixon bleats and licks his burnt shoulder. But there's no time to stop. I bark encouragement. Hurry, hurry! The fire is coming. Finally, we arrive at the rocks. Will we be safe here? I'm not sure, but it's our best option. My pulse slows as we settle down. From atop the rocks, I can see that the fire has come up from the valley and burned everything in its way. The house, the barn, the pump house, the sheds, everything is on fire. As the night wears on, I watch as the flames die down, leaving piles of smoking ashes. Then the sun rises and I stare in astonishment. The fire has passed but has eaten a giant path. Many trees are still burning or are gone. The air is thick with smoke and dust. I sneeze and blink. With my whiskers gone, I can't keep the dirt out of my mouth and eyes. 
I ache from tiredness, but I am a working dog. I won't sleep until my goats are safe. A long, lonely day passes by. Baby deer separated from their mothers take refuge with us. At night, the animals sleep while I stand guard. My eyes water from the smoke and hunger claws at my stomach. Where can my people be? And then, just when I think I cannot stand for one more moment, I hear a noise, a motor. Is it my people? A car door slams. I race up the rock so I can see. It's Roland. He runs toward me. He looks as tired as I am. Odin, Roland cries. You're alive. I can't believe it. The goats follow me and the skittish fawns run away. Roland's eyes widen. You're all alive, he marvels. My legs give out, but my tail doesn't. And as Roland hugs me tight, I wag it harder than I have ever before. Odin, you did it, says Roland. You saved the goats. Now relax. Just relax. Let me take care of you. And this time I obey. Later, when it's safe, the rest of my family returns. Tessa runs in circles around me. Ariel hugs me and whispers, I'm so proud of you, Odin. I lick her face and she laughs. The goats crowd around us, nuzzling. Where is Roland? I see him turn around, looking at the property. In his eyes, there is something new. Hope. We'll rebuild, we he says quietly. We're together, and this is all that matters to me. On behalf of Bowling Spring Lakes Fire, my name is Clark. Thank you for joining us here at Kiwanis Reading Corner. I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did. And again, we, re we read Odin, Dog Hero of the Fires, written by Emma Bland Smith and illustrated by Carrie Salazar.